Hey everybody, Charlie Nair 2 here and welcome back to Strange Horticulture. When we last left off, this individual is looking for Weeping Bell. We've determined that Weeping Bell is otherwise known as Golden Light. We know to find Golden Light, we have to go to Long Meg, and then we need to go south three times and east two times, or three miles and two miles. Now, the problem with this is, in order to get to understand what Long Meg is, we have to go to the Abbey. When we go to the Abbey, only a friend may enter. So, what does that mean? What friend? A bishop? No. I think it's Devil's Nightcap. Corpse's friend. All right, but do we have anything that looks like this? Does this look like this? I don't know what acerbic means. Does that mean pine needle? Let me look this up real quick. What does acerbic mean? Um, new tab. A C E R P I C. Definition. Tasting sour or bitter. That doesn't sound like pine needles to me. So I'll put you over here. That doesn't look the same. Let's move this over. I'm trying to make something look like this. No. It's not a mushroom. It's not that one. Unpleasant scent. Not a mushroom. These are sharp leaves. Strawberry dipped in honey. Bright red flowers. Maybe it's, maybe this is the flower petals. It doesn't look like it though. I don't see any stamen or anything. Red fruit. Pleasant aroma. Dark purple. Sickly sweet. Purple flowers. This doesn't look the same. I don't think I have that, so I need to figure out how to get Corpse Friend. So, what do we do? Do we have any leads on where to find Corpse Friend? I don't think so, to be honest. Maybe it isn't Corpse Friend that we give them. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it is Bishop's Parasol? Hmm. Well, let's try Bishop's Parasol. That's a mushroom, right? Mushroom, sharp gills. Sure, I don't think this is it, but Bishop and Abby seems to go together. No, I figured not. We can keep trying. I guess we're just gonna leave, which means I can't give you the weeping bell. Which means we may have to do, may have to do a hint. But they won't tell you what they want, sort of test. They never allowed me to look through their stacks. All right, hint time. Need to look back through my letters. I'm sure I remember something that could lead me to a new map location. Really. And a new plant. Are we talking about Not 
that one. These all have check marks. I'm going to assume that means they're good. Check mark. Oh. Alright, I'm not going to do that. They're all check marks. That's the only hint you're going to give me, huh? I don't know what Long Meg is. Do any of these sound like a friend? We already tried Bishop's Parasol. Hmm. I'm going to try, I don't know what I'm going to try. It's supposed to be one that smells like pine needles, but I don't, I don't think I have that one. Let's try the map. Long Meg. Finium, the great oak. Excuse me, I have to sneeze. Sorry about that. Tomb of the Hunter. Where can we find Corpse Friend? Tell you what. Let's, let's put all this away. Bring this back out, because I think it, it's got to be Corpse Friend, right? Devil's Nightcap. Okay, I thought it would give a hint as to where we could find it. Plant will grow out of the body once deceased. It's a light, pleasant scent, not dissimilar to pine needles. Well, in the root and vinegar creates tonic against fevers and poison. Huh. I'm curious. I don't know where to go from here. Clearly, we need to go somewhere. I know we need to go to the Abbey, but I don't know what plant to give them. I'm just looking at the map now, trying to see... Well, let's go to the stone circle here. This is where the murder happened. Maybe there's something here. Uh, I probably shouldn't have came here. I shudder at the thought of what happened here. If these stones could tell what they saw. A chill comes over me. I realize that I know, do not want to linger. And, of course, I get dread from that. Alright. I do get another hint because of that. No, that's the same. That hint does not help me. I think what it's referring to is going to the Abbey. So, I hate to admit it, but we're going to look up what we need to do here. Strange. Horticulture. Abbey. What is the name of it? No, 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 no. I want to... I just want to zoom in. Go away. Calder Abbey. Alright, Calder. Abbey. Okay, let's see. Gameplaytips.com Uh, can I control F here? What day are we on? 
Day 11. Alright, I'm trying to get this without spoiling anything else. Okay. Okay, so we need to go back. I should have figured this out before now. So I had... I had the ability to figure this out. And when did they tell us to go to the Abbey? Okay. I'm sorry this has taken so long. I thought this would be just a quick, easy thing here. Okay. So I was wrong. According to this, the plant I need to give them that shows friendship is apparently Fox Button. Strong smelling bulb, but the plant has powerful sephoric effect, making it common ingredient sleeping. Can't produce a beautiful round of dark blue clusters. Oh, I'm reading the wrong one. Again. An offering of Fox Button is considered by some to represent a contract of friendship. My bad. I miss that. 100%. That makes sense. Fox Button. Alright. Let's try this again. Calder Abbey. Let's find Fox Button. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. Here's Fox Button. The hatch snaps shut and the oak door swings inward slowly without a sound. I am ushered by a man wearing a plain brown robe. He nods silently when I ask about Long Meg and then leads me through the abbey to a small library filled with scrolls and books. Without a word, he pauses for a moment, surveying before selecting a scroll and handing it to me. Sheep snap. There's a stone circle north of Undermere. According to local legends, some hundreds, perhaps even thousands of years ago, a witch known as Long Meg lived nearby along with her daughters. They were wild, godless people who practiced evil magic, until one night they went too far and Meg and her daughters returned to stone. The tall stone that stands apart from the main circle is called Long Meg. Alright, so now we need to... Water our plants so that we can travel and follow that one note. Okay. So what I should have done is I should have went back through the plant book and looked for friendship again. Fox button is the one I needed. All right. All right, so we're good to go. Let's go ahead. Come on, put this back over here. All right, I want to center it on the empty space in case we get some plants. All right, so long Meg, long Meg, go. All right, stone circle north of Undermere. Stone circle. Is that it? I don't see any other ones, right? The daughters. There's supposed to be a stone that stands by itself. All right, let's read this. With her daughters. The tall stone that stands apart from the main circle is called Long Meg. Where is... I don't see a stone standing by itself. So maybe it is just this stone circle. Is there one here? No. Undermere. That's where we're at. 
Stone circles. The only one I see is this one. I don't see a stone by itself, so we'll just assume that this is where they want us to do. Start at Long Meg, South 3. 1, 2, 3. East 2. 1, 2. Looks like we did it. The river is in its youth here, flowing swiftly through the rocks with a melodic gurgle. Among the tall grasses that line the riverbank is a much more unusual looking flower. Okay, so according to my calculations, that's done. That's done, and that is done. So, Weeping Bell. Red flowers, soft leaves, soft frilled leaves. Here you go, Weeping Bell. Identified. We're going to collect. Lesser Mary Dock, sure. This is Weeping Bell, so we'll do this this time. W E E P I N G B E L L E. Okay, puts it back up here. And then we can just put it wherever we got room. All right. Center this here, and moving on. Amos Duncan, how you doing, Amos? I'm headed out on the road again, but before I leave, I wanted to store some valuables in a safe. Oh, can't read your text, my dude. I don't trust myself to remember the combination, and I certainly don't trust myself to write it down anywhere and not lose it. This is where you come in, is it now? Surely you've got something up your sleeve for me. There you go. Already done. <laughs> that one was easy. Edmund Cochran, you're new. Please help me, I lost my dog while out walking in the fells. The mist rolled in and he was gone. I remember there was a plant you could use to help find people. I wonder if it works for dogs. Now, we've used this before. Had leaves with a mind of their own. Yeah, it was, uh, it was this one. Yeah, this one. Jacob's Worth. Simone, you're the librarian, right? Oh, goodness, Hellbor, you haven't been getting enough food. Can I feed, Hellbor? That's terrible. Whatever will become of you. Oh, can't read that. My mother's had me looking into the servant creature for you, but I'm afraid I've not been getting anywhere. You are useless. It's strange. I'm sure I've seen some reference to it before, but I'm drawing a blank when I try to find anything. I think Lord Fremont's archives would be a good place to look. I was going to post this to you, but I was in town anyway, so I thought I'd drop it off in person. I'll post as in mail. That and sneak in some Hellbore hugs. Okay. What you got for me? I've not been getting anywhere looking through my collections in Ambleside for any mention of the servant. Lord Fremont's archives at Muncaster are home to many ancient and esoteric scrolls covering a wide variety of subjects. Might be worth a visit. Muncaster. It's here, right? So, we've been here, right? I follow Fremont's manservant deep into the vaults of the castle. Two hours later, two hours later I have still found no mention of the servant. On the verge of giving up, a name grabs my attention. The Woken Dendru. Didn't Verona say that it was another name for the servant? Yes, she did. She 100% did. We can put this away. Let's collect this. The Woken Dendru is loyal to the Summoner, who becomes its master and can bend its terrible power to their will. The servant is assumed to be immortal since it has no known vulnerabilities, but that does not mean it cannot be defeated. Many hundreds of years ago, a site of ritual importance was created near Blackcomb to the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak. Okay, we know where the Great Oak is. And the Dendru was ousted from this world. Unfortunately, although we know that five plants were required for the ritual, the specific plants are not known. Okay. John Hall. How you doing, John? Norwood, please. 
I find it's the only thing that can keep me from nodding off on night shift. Norwood. I'm gonna move this over some. Here we go. A bite of the crunchy root of this plant has the effect of a cold bucket of water thrown over the face, an unpleasant sensation accompanied by sharp focus. It is claimed that Norwood releases spores that are invisible to the naked eye, showing up only under unnatural light. What? That's the only description? Xanthodermis strictus. Crunchy root. Releases spores that are invisible to eye only under a natural light. Can we do something like... No, that doesn't work. Maybe we can see a... <laughs> Look at that. It is, in fact. Okay. I don't feel bad about looking up the hint because I feel like I figured that one out. Norwood. Here you go. N O R W O O D. N O R W O O D. Oh, we didn't capitalize the N. Why didn't we do that? Typo, I guess. All right, take your Norwood. And, come on. Put it right over here. And we'll center the screen here. And end day. Good, because we're about to go crazy with our rising dread. So essentially, this means we can make two mistakes. After the third mistake, we're out. Let's end the day. Another night, another card. The first letter of the Latin name of a plant known as golden light. The number of petals on a lucky calab Cabalia flower. That's seven, I believe, is the lucky one. First letter and number. So that'll give us a grid. Latin name of golden light. Okay. When her chance finally came, she did not hesitate even for a moment. Afterwards, when the Arda was dead, she felt only elation. Years after she had first laid eyes on the book, she had what she needed. The Arda just died, so this is happening now. Alright, let's do the hints. I believe it's seven. I don't know the Latin name for golden light. But we're going to find it out real quick. Can I... All right, golden light. Ooh. Plant known as golden light. Do I have one that has several names? So this is one that has a... an alias, right? Come on, move move the thing. Have her heart. Oof. Do we have a golden light? We may not. Latin name of a plant known as golden light. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So we had a little note. Golden light. Long mag. Something's full. It's one that we have. J 
just found because we just gave it to that dude. Is it Lark Shine? Wasn't the one with the weird... It wasn't Weeping Bell, was it? Weeping Bell... led to gold. Known as Golden Light. It was Weeping Bell. So let's, uh, let's edit the tag on this. Weeping Bell slash Golden Light. Okay, I remember it because of the leaves, which is a weird thing to say, but that's what happened. So, L. So the first letter of the Latin name of a plant known as Golden Light is L. All right, now we got to go to Cabalia Flower, which is here. Rare plants. Finding a seven petal one is fortune, so seven. So we need to go to L7. Okay. Let's go to L. And then seven is here. I amble through the meadowland, stopping every so often to examine any wildflowers that catch my eye. Buttercups, daisies, cowslips, red clover, knapweed, cat's ear, and hidden among them, something new for my collection. Two plants. So before we collect these plants, let's move over to here and collect. It looks like cattails almost. All right, so we'll put you guys here. Sure, maybe we can do that. Do that. All right. Next customer. Hey, Verona, how you doing? Sisterhood was attacked last night. Bethany is dead. Oh no! Along with the new Arda and thirteen others of Stamfuls with all their secrets. Could we have prevented that? No amount of pleading with them could get them to see sense, but through blind luck we have been left with a slender hope in this fight. Sister Charlotte managed to escape the slaughter with the one thing that could help in the fight against the servant. Trust no one. Keep it hidden, but get it open. Keep it hidden. Keep it safe. Get it open, she says. Can we drop up? We can drop up. There's that locksmith plant. Oh, I don't remember the name of it. There was a plant that could open locks. It was like... Not John's Poppy. Jacob's Worth? No. Uh, we may have to start at the beginning and just look at what everything can do. And uh, I realize that's a bit boring, but that's what we'll start to do. Clarity, light, warming, skin rashes, peace, Altercations, worship, open any lock, clavillium, clavillium, here's where putting stuff in alphabetical order would help, I may do that in between this and the next episode, here we go, clavillium, All right, we've got some stuff to look at here, but we're going to look at it next episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.